All right. Uh, let's look around here a little bit more. Uh, we have a mission for this place. We actually have two things here. Um, there's a dead drop somewhere in the Arbor Dim. And in terms of our objectives, here we go. We need to find the lover's gift. Okay. I wonder if this will show if I highlight it. Nothing really showing there. Mm. <laughs> but wait! View on map! No? Damn it. Alright. So, let's read this. A crew member named Lawrence Baxter left a gift for his lover, L. Gold, under rocks near a tree that he carved their initials into in the Arboretum. Or the Arboretum. I could find where whatever it is in case it's useful. Tracking L with a security station might lead me to the site. Ah. That's a solid idea. I don't know where, uh, where one is, though. I have found out that, uh, it's pretty much a glitch when they tell you that your resources are at, uh, at or above peak levels, even though you're below max. Yeah, that's not a percentage-based thing. That's just a glitch. I think as soon as you're below 99%, or 100%, that's when it should be working, and that just, just didn't. Structural upgrades detected. Thank you. Scanning target error. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. I hear something. Ooh, I see a mimic through the trees. An etheric phantom. What's up? <laughs> I really enjoy how accurate this thing is. Does it get more accurate when I'm crouching? Because it looks like, kind of looks like it. Precision based shots. Pew pew. Crispy frights. All right. Do we have a code for this? No, no. We never did. Huh. Why are there so many mimics in here? Are you guys trying to enjoy nature too? I love nature. <laughs> I just realized the name of the book. Backstabbed in the face. <laughs> All right. We need to find a security station. Uh, I don't know if there's one on this floor though. Level two. There is. Okay, so if we head towards crew quarters, that's where uh, we'll find the security system. Good, 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 good. Good evening, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must. Oh, or I could just find El Gold's body. By itself. Huh. L B E G. So. Now that we've found her body, I need to actually go through the transcribe because I don't remember what the guy said about this. if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. <laughs> okay. I didn't know we had that, uh... That one missing. So, do we have this? Ah, in order of what we found it. Good. 
So this is what we need. Birthday tryst. You got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved oh. our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Unlike hell, Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway, beneath a stone you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. And don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. <laughs> okay. So, I didn't actually really fully need to, to listen to that. I just needed to pick up the rock. Ah! I, uh... Got fucking jump scared by mimics again, bastards. They were sitting here the entire time. Right in front of my turret. What's the point if you can't scan type-in material right in front of them, man? Alright, where the hell is the storage room? Uh, this is AR-1. I don't know where 2 is. <laughs> it's obviously... Probably gonna be on the other side. Right? That's what I'd assume, but it's not marked. Crap. We've ran by it a lot. We've ran by it a few times, but I don't have it memorized. Because I figured, eh, if I get the key card, I can just look at the map to find it. I was wrong. Sort of. Loading bay. Anything new in here? No? Alright, well then I'm going to recycle a little bit. I'm doing my due diligence. To keep on getting materials. Station's holding up remarkably well, though. Alright. I can make a couple of neuromods. Ah! Dude! Not fucking cool! He keeps doing that to me! I don't fucking notice the traps! This- I'm gonna kill him. There better be a- like, like, the only thing that will keep him alive would be my want to be a goody two-shoes. But that's starting to piss me off. Even if it can't hurt me, it's surprising me, and, uh, that's pissing me off, too. You're all mods! I finally used everything! I now no longer can make neuromods. That's fine. Well, now that I'm out, I can give me some shotgun shells. Do I have my guns fully upgraded? I know my shotgun is. I even have the achievement for that. But we could upgrade my pistol a little bit. Okay. Range would be good. 35 meters. That's a pretty decent distance. And then we can get up to 25. Oh, 27. That's a weird number. That frustrates me. But all right, silence pistols completely upgraded. Now my upgrade kits are pretty much for everything else. Can't upgrade my wrench, unfortunately, but I can upgrade the goo cannon. But I'd have to get lab tech. Yeah. What about this power? Oh, this is a security gun, so I can actually upgrade this a bunch too. Ooh. Well, this is be intriguing. Uh, I definitely do. I, I definitely want to in increase the glue cannons thing so it can become a little bit more useful for dealing with phantoms. It's pretty good at dealing with mimics and poltergeists, but with phantoms, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired. So there's there's that, and then the st the stun gun too leaves a little bit to be desired. It takes a long while to charge up. Do anything. With it. <laughs> Mimics. 
Are you guys alive in here? There's a note. Uh, we locked the doors to the greenhouse, but this one flies. We don't have long before it figure out, figures out the roof isn't covered. Five minutes ago, Edna tried making it into the greenhouse before it took her over. She won't stop screaming, yelling at us to stay back. If we can kill the floating thing that infected her, maybe we can save her. If you find this note, please help. Kill it before we won't be ourselves, Randy. Oh. Yeah, that would have been good to find before uh, we went into there. Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. It also would have been good to find just because of the fact that, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize there wasn't a roof on this until, until it flew out of it. It took advantage of what it could. Alright, one of these days, I'm gonna get attacked by food. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna be grabbing all these bananas, and then BOOM, it's a MIMIC! Or a greater mimic. Alright, let me repair my suit a little bit before I get into another fight. Okay. So it looks are like the unconscious humans are gone this time. Good, good. I assume they ran away. Hopefully. Give us a little bit of peace of mind. Where the fuck is storage A2? Ah, here we go. <laughs> the storage room was down here. That's why you couldn't fucking see it. Yeah, right, that does not happen. Oh, hey! It's Lawrence Baxter! That's depressing, actually. Holy shit. He was waiting in here for her. Oh, no! He even had... a full, like, picnic set in here. Everything your heart desires. Fun time in a closet. And then everything went wrong. He even left all these flower clippings. Jesus. What a romantic. Can we just blast him in the face of the shotgun? Well, to be fair, he shot me with fucking psychic like energy first. For authorized uses only. If you're not wearing a blue uniform, Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yes. With you. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing life threatening. Try to relax. All done. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. <laughs> Alright, so there is a limit to how far he can heal you. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. Try to relax. All done. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Good. Okay. Well, we, uh, we're gonna head to crew quarters because I forgot the escape pod key from Alex's room. <laughs> so I still have to do a little bit more backtracking. Scanning target typhoon material. Ooh. Holy crap. This is way faster. <laughs> I was looking at what I could upgrade with my neuromods. I'm like, uh, what could I get with 13 neuromods? I was considering going for combat focus because increasing my damage while using combat focus would be nice. And also getting the ability to move around normally in the middle of, of freezing time would be awesome as well. But, uh, <laughs> I, I like this decision. I can now go ri a lot faster at a ridiculous fucking speed. Actually, that fucking increases the slide to something that would be more preferable. Nice. And then this effect, it also just increases general speed so that I can walk 25% faster and sneak 25% faster. But the speed boost. Oh my god. And the fact that I can jump higher. Woo! For speed demons, man. And that's just human ability and neuromodding. That's not even typhon stuff. Alright. So, where the hell is the key? Alex? Did you hide it from me? If we go to objectives and mark it as active, all it does is point to his room. Damn it. Pillow? <laughs> he didn't hide under his pillow. He's not that dumb. Ah, but he hid it under the globe. Alright. So, if we want, 
We could now escape Talus 1. Oh, Don Davis's body flew up here because of the fucking gravity! I forgot. Well, I'm actually legitimately curious to see what happens if we- when we escape this, uh, station. Obviously, we're not gonna consider that the real ending for us, we're gonna make a manual save before we do it, but... I wanna see what happens. Is it a joke ending? Will we, like, get shot out of the sky? Or will we land on the Earth and, uh... Suddenly be taken over by the Typhon parts of our body? As we go on a killing spree across the world, no one able to stop us because of our impressive abilities. I mean, we can even mind jack people. We can take them over. How do you stop somebody like that? Well, nukes. <laughs> I not much we can do about that. Or bullets, where we're still a flimsy person, even in our little suits. Oh my god, I go so much faster. This is gonna be a double-edged sword, because I do a lot of sprinting around, and that gets me into trouble already, when I was at normal sprinting speed. Now I'm going, like, almost two times faster. Which is great for environments like this, when I'm trying to backtrack all over the place, but, uh... Now I might get into trouble... ...with everything else. Okay, so I need to get up to the escape pod. Unfortunately for us, the way to the escape pod is a little janky. <laughs> I think we're supposed to be able to deploy that downwards, probably inside of Alex's room. We'll make this official. I, even though I could totally just stay on top of things. Utilities. Extend bridge. There you go. All right. The bridge has been extended. We have our manual save and our quick saves before then as well. Ooh. We actually get quite a few things. Ha! Alex used tracking bracelets up here. I never even really considered him like, where would Alex you be? Well, he's not trying to get out, that's for sure. Morgan, don't. I'm only a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos 1. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? Hey, you know, they might go to Mars. They might not like Earth. I'm just saying. It's a possibility, January. If I get to Earth, we can warn them. And I can show them my powers. <laughs> well, I see- I want to see what happens! Farewell, Talus One! Time for the joke Hello, ending. nice to see you. <laughs> the medical operator's <laughs> trying to greet me still. <laughs> we fail. This isn't the one. Start over. What? Did we just get massive spoilers because of the game's joke ending? <gasps> what? Alex! Alex! Alex, have I been in a simulation this whole fucking time? You little bastard! Morgan, don't. I'm only a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos 1. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? <laughs> That is, uh... Wow. Alright. I don't know... What to think of that. We f oh, Our mind fizzled out with, with a flash, and Alex is like, yeah, yeah, this is- this one didn't work. So either... 
we're in a simulation or we are a simulation. You know? So say Alex or anybody else via the neuromods and everything. Oh, oh boy. All right, let's 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 just go forward. We don't have to commit to this. That could have been a joke on the devs' part. They're like, guys, you, you, you're not supposed to just leave. Right? Okay. I want to see something. We have the, uh, we want to go to deep storage, but we know when we go there, we're going to spend a lot of time. So I'm actually going to head out to the exterior and see what happens with that satellite. Like, will that stop nightmare attacks or will it stop just one nightmare attack? I don't really want to stop nightmare attacks because they're the most threatening enemies in the game. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem that way because of the ways we've dealt with them, but... They could probably kill me in like a couple of shots. I'm just not letting them do that that much because we cheese the shit out of them. <laughs> but, uh, and there's also the fact that we have kind of, we're at max damage, right? At least with the shotgun. So of course we're going to do a lot. All right. Let's get to that satellite. Oh, hey, the whole breach from crew quarters. Huh. We didn't go to that one before. Because I didn't want to, uh, get in trouble there. Uh-oh. So this is corrupted science officer. What? Okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get in there. Get down and dirty. Because there's nothing I can really do, but, you know, I guess I can shoot them with a shotgun. It's a waste of ammo for me. And they still didn't all fucking die, bastards. Okay, I tried to just shoot the cystoid nest to see if it would die immediately. It didn't work. Oh, there's a bunch of things up here. The board member. And then, of course, there's the technopath. Technopath! Psycho Jack. <laughs> oh my god, that 120 crit damage. Let's see what we got here. Will and Kathy Yu. Wait, what? Oh, the room doesn't look that fancy. I guess those are my parents. Huh. I don't know if I consider that at the beginning of the game. But there you go. They had dedicated rooms up here to join us. But I don't- I don't have access to their... anything. We need to restore power! But I do not know how, or if it's even possible. But at least I'm getting little food bits! I'm gonna eat while I'm in space! Alright, maybe the room with the science operator has something special in it. Right, let's see. Too far, too fast, too. We already read that. There's nothing in here. I mean, except for a really nice view of the Earth. Damn it. I want to restore power to this place, if possible. Uh oh. <laughs> Thankfully, I had something to distract them with, because that was almost bad for me. Hmm. 
Ooh, fear reactor. What does that mean? Upon killing a Typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast on nearby Typhons. What? That sounds awesome. I'm gonna try it out, even if it's nothing amazing. But if I can uh, kill a phantom surrounded by a bunch of other shit, and then they just kind of stop trying to attack me for five seconds, I'm up for it. Or if they just suck at hitting me, that's fine too. Okay. Here's the exterior satellite. And... Oh, shit. <laughs> we saw where we need to place our own little transmitter. Kablam! Alright, January. Oh, it actually got put there. Nice work. This should get the attention of that Typhon nightmare that's hunting you. I'm sending you two activation signals. The first will direct the Typhon away from you. The second will bring it down on you. Use your transcribed messaging system to fire them off. Ooh. Cool. So, you actually get a decent choice there. I thought it was gonna kind of only be, oh, it's a way to make it stop attacking you. But you can actually make it come to you. That's cool. That's cool. I have a choice of uh, how difficult this is going to be. I can bring a nightmare towards me, defeat it, be happy. And just get it out of the way. Oh, I wonder if I can just... Is it is it a summon? <laughs> can I just summon it at any time? Uh-oh. Oh, hey, Technopath. Oh, Jesus. Do I have anything that could deal with these guys from a distance? We could try doing, um... Honestly, we could do Backlash, too. What am I doing? Ow, that did not help me that much. Okay. Wait, come back! Aha! I will take its bits from a distance if need be. Okay, what was I doing down here? Ah, right. The human corpse. That's just hidden away back here. Now, who were you? And why do you have a Q beam? Hmm. Mariana Arias. Okay. Or Arias. The fuck was that? <laughs> I guess that might be... That might have been them trying to get in contact with the satellite to give out information. Like medical operators, they shocked me. That <laughs> stops me from moving. So, what the hell is in here? You have the lobby or a connection to the lobby. And then a maintenance access to the outside. But you figure if you're gonna stick some operators in here, there's gotta be something of value. You know, like a supply chest, or a direct connection to one of the other areas. If there was a human body in here, I think it would tell us. 
Plus, we already found a human body right around the corner, so... Huh. I guess this is just a quaint little area to go through. Kind of odd. From a player standpoint, because there's nothing here of value for me. <laughs> besides the body. Ah, here's some supplies. With a Neuromod. Thank God. Cotton on my way out. Are they just at the access panels? Or was that just a good find just before I left? I guess that's it. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> the floating light! It's perfectly in sync with the orbit of our station. Not attached to anything. Okay. Let's head back in to the Arboretum. As long as I don't crash and die. I'm excited. I don't know how to use the transcribe thing. Is it in my inventory now? Or is it only something that pops up when we... ...have to deal with the, uh, when, when the nightmare actually spawns? He said something about transcribe. And so that could be something where, like, I go to my data, I go to audio logs, and I play something? Ah, repel nightmare, attract nightmare. It's just in my head. Oh, here we go. I can't find that open airlock. I think there's something following me. It's... I keep hearing it. It that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just in my head. Ay, Mateo. David, I love you both. Mom, I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to protect me. I love you so much. Huh. Well, I guess there you go. I was wondering what the whole tr satellite transmission thing was. Oh, you know what? I think I know what happened. I think I pressed L to listen to the transcribe, and it played the satellite sound from my inventory. That's what happened. So I actually used one of my charges, I think. Ooh, that sucks. That's That should have been like an inventory item. Like an inventory transcribe thing that you could use or pull out. I would have preferred that. Like, have it as a dedicated weapon. Because that was really easy to accidentally trigger. Alright. Well, let's try this out. Oh, nope, we still have four uses remaining. Good, 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 good. We're gonna ascend... ...to the very tippy-top of this area, and we're gonna see what happens. Like, can I see it spawn? Will it pop up right on top of me? Okay. I'm gonna heal just a smidge. I could use a med kit, but we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Data, audio logs, a track nightmare. I didn't do anything. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, wait, nope, there it is. Scan empty. More specimens required. Alright. Well, it's showtime. Plan. I have to remember it. I have to hit it with a shock. Then use my slowdown time. And while I'm slow down time, we just unload everything on it. 
Okay. Or I could start off with combat focus. Then go to Psycho Shock. Then do everything else I was going to. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying to have attack you. Holy shit. popped up, like, significantly earlier in the game, I would have died. Like, outright. Like, if I, if I- if I didn't have these Typhon abilities, I would be destroyed. If I was doing a human ability-only thing, we would be having a very, very bad day. Okay. Well... I'm gonna do that again. I wanna get the- the scans done for it, so, if I want... I can go down the tree. Says I think it gives you regeneration three. Regenerate up to 25 health immediately after taking damage, which would actually be pretty solid. Uh, that pretty much, if I t if I accidentally take some damage from like a uh, mimic, that immediately I'm a th I think that's a passive. I think that just gives it to me immediately. Hmm, two use side per second. It never gets better. Ah, oh. <laughs> you can you can hide yourself as something. Intriguing, like turrets and stuff, but you can't, you can't reduce it down to one side per second. Ooh, 40 seconds, that's pretty solid. You can also increase the power of my Psycho Shock, that's something I've been using quite a lot. But we still have everything else, like giving, getting more Psy Pool. Increase the effectiveness of the Psy Hypos would be good too. Because they're currently crap. <laughs> I have to use a lot of them just for anything good. Oh, wait. Ah, right. I was going to try and equip my Psychomod stuff. Whoops. How much do I even have? If I were to take some of these... I could get six from ten hypos. Nice. <laughs> I just want I want more neuron odds, alright? Is that so much to ask for? I will be amazing. I wonder if, like, if you get every single type in ability, does the game just end and shows you as, like, a nightmare? That'd be kind of funny. Okay. So I am going to grab the last level of Psychotronics 3. There we go. So I can have everything at once. Well, a good chunk of them at once. Uh, shotgun critical would be solid as well. Shields of the effects of the null wave transmitter. Oh, when did I get that? I don't remember getting it. There. So now when I kill things, amazing stuff will happen. Oh, hold up. I'm running out of pistol bullets. <laughs> what about my shotgun? Oh no! Did I just recycle my shotgun? Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. Alright, hold on. We have saves. <laughs> I thought I had an extra shotgun, and I didn't. Okay. I remade my items, or uh, I reloaded my saves so I didn't get rid of my shotgun. That would have been... That would have been bad. That would have been bad. Oh my god. <laughs> my fully upgraded shotgun destroyed by accident. Too easy, too easy. I wish there was a way to lock things. Of course, that's on me for spamming. It's so easy, but you find so many shotguns and pistols and everything. You get duplicates of all the weapons in the game. It makes it very easy for me to go, eh, all right, I need to get rid of this. Either for spare parts or for recycling. Oh well. So now we try this again. 
Psychotronics. And then, hell, I'll even go for Psionic Aptitude. Well, I don't know. I haven't been using my powers that desperately. I've been more of a gun guy. I run up, I shock him in the face. You know, after hitting him with a Psycho Shock. I probably don't need to have 200 just yet. Not until we actually have the further levels where I'm just starting to spam things by a ton. Create two traps that heal up to 100 damage, god. Oh. So, basically, 200 damage? Or is it... Just divided between the three? I don't know, that'd be dumb. <laughs> I'll, I'm just gonna say, oh yeah, two traps, 200 damage, three traps, <laughs> 375 damage. Just so you can do some awesome stuff. Electrostatic Burst! Just so I can be ridiculous. Operators? No problem! Alright, so... Before we head down to deep storage... We need to equip my stuff, I just keep going all over the damn place. Fear Reactor! Shotgun Critical! Alright, let's Coming get some ass. We're going to deep storage! There might be some crazy things in here. More advanced aliens. I don't know. 